Hey everybody, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the social like, follow and subscribe buttons that are available to you in easy social share buttons for WordPress. So as you can see on my screen, I'm seeing the dashboard on the ESSB uh, settings page. We're going to scroll down and make sure you've clicked on social like, follow and subscribe buttons. Uh, then we can get started with configuring it. As you can see here on the website, we've already got the standard share buttons there set up. Uh, we've not really changed those uh, over the course of the last few videos or what changes we have made. Uh, we've just reverted back to keep it a bit more simple looking. So what we do now is we'll just jump back into the configuration dashboard and scroll down. Uh, the first thing you need to choose is if you want to show those like, follow and subscribe buttons on the same line. Uh, we're just going to choose yes uh, just to, to show you how that one looks. The next option is to apply native button skin. Uh, now that will just hide the native buttons inside a nice flat style box uh, and show them on hover it to probably looks a little bit better in my opinion. Then you need to choose the native button skin. You can choose flat or metro. Uh, I think we've got metro at the moment so we'll choose that. And you can also choose to display the counters. Uh, for now we're not actually going to do that because there's not a lot of data that we'd be able to show. Uh, and then just after this we get to drag and drop the order that we want them to appear in. So what we'll do is we'll say we'll move Facebook to the front. Uh, leave Google there and for the rest we just won't change that. Then we get down to activate social privacy. Uh, it's not compatible with the cache plugins or building cache uh, at the moment so if you're using a caching plugin you can't actually use that. Uh, so we're just going to skip over that really for now and we'll get down to the Facebook like slash follow button. Uh, now if you want to have a like button there you can choose simply like that. Uh, if your site's already got the Facebook API loaded in you would select this box here, uh, ours we don't, so we're gonna leave that unchecked for now. And then the next option we have is to load the Facebook API asynchronously, which means that it will be loaded sort of at the same time as everything else uh, and shouldn't have too much of an impact on your actual page itself that doesn't involve Facebook loading and looking good. Uh, we've got a very lightweight website here at the moment, so we're just gonna leave that off for the moment. We can now set the custom width, height and margins of the Facebook button uh, because if it's not looking too good you can play around with this uh, making sure you use pixel values uh, as appropriate to make sure it's yeah, you know, displaying the way that you want it to. Then we come down and we get to choose if we want a like or a follow. Now what we're going to do is just leave that as like. If you want to have follow that's more for personal accounts uh, and then you put in the URL there. If you wanted to change the actual colors that you're seeing, you would just use the color picker here. Uh, but we're just going to leave that all at default at the moment rather than changing it because our website's very simple. But you know, if you had a complicated website aesthetic, you might want to change that to make it look more in line with your website. And as far as the skin button goes, if you wanted to actually change the width, you can do that here by entering a pixel value. You can replace the text on the button there very simply. And if you have privacy enabled, uh, you can change those same settings in terms of the button text and the button width just here as well. Now to set up the Google plus one slash follow button, uh, once again simply you would just select uh, to include it, decide if you want to be the plus one of the content or the actual follow of the account. We'll go with follow for the moment, you can put in that URL uh, of the profile page. Again you can change the color of all of that as well as changing the width and text on the button both in default and in privacy mode. Now we get down to uh, vk.com settings. Yeah, you can choose to include that if you want. We're just going to leave that off for the moment. You do need to set up an application here. So if you were going to use vk.com, you need to put in your application ID there. Uh, once again, buttons and the actual width and text available of buttons uh, in default and privacy mode is also featured here below. The next, again, for Twitter, it's pretty much exactly the same. Do you want a tweet or a follow button? Uh, choose yes if you want it. Uh, we're going to leave that on follow. We've already got a tweet button on there. Follow user. We're going to put in our Twitter account, just like that. Uh, and again, you can here choose to change the color, the you know button width, text, and so on. Uh, then you can choose to set up the YouTube button. We're not going to here, but again, these settings are exactly what you've just seen before. Do you want it there? Yes or no? What's the channel name you want people to be subscribing to? The color of the buttons, uh, the text and the width. Again, the same applies with Pinterest. Uh, do you want that button there? Yes or no? What style of button, a follow or a pin? 
uh, the display name on the button, the user URL, uh, the colors, and then if you wanted to replace the colors or the text that are included by default, you would set these here. After which we scroll down a little further to LinkedIn, where it's pretty much the same, uh, though there is no option as a, a like or a follow. It's simply just a follow button for a company. So you would choose that, your company URL. Then again, you've got your color options. Uh, and do you want to replace the text on the button? And do you want to change the width of the button? If you're running a WordPress specific website, you may want to put a managewp.org upvote button on there uh, so that you can be active on their server so you can do that. Uh, but we're just going to leave that off for now. And then finally, we can activate custom like addresses. So you can turn that one on there. As it says, the option allows you to send different addresses for native social network buttons to like. Uh, if you've activated custom share messages, these will be overwritten. Uh, so just be careful if you're going to use these. We're not going to use these for now, uh, but that does bring us down to the end of the options for the like, follow and subscribe button. So we're just going to click update settings. Uh, that's been saved. So we'll come back to our website and refresh just to make sure everything else is displaying. Uh, there it is. So you can see we've got the, the like button. You roll over it and you get the default Facebook like box. Same as the Google Plus follow. Uh, and Twitter follow button as well. These don't look perfect, but they do certainly function. Uh, you would need to go into the settings and tweak around with these just to make sure that they're going to work uh, and just, well, not to work, but to display exactly as you would like them to be. But that's the end of this video. If you have any questions about what we've done, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed the video, hit subscribe for more.